Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today uh, together with DigitalOcean we prepared some small and interesting, I hope, webinar about how to start with Argo CD. So uh, let me first of all to introduce myself. So I work as a DevOps team lead at the Navitech company. We are working with different customers from Israel and Europe locations and even more. Um, Overall, in IT field, I work more than 10 years and six plus years in DevOps on a variety of projects, roles, etc. Um, I have really dive and hands-on production experience with continuous Kubernetes, and I love everything connected with CI/CD, all the tools, all the implementation. This is exactly what I like. So today, um, I'm going uh, to talk with you, first of all, about some small theory about containers, Kubernetes, CD, how do we deploy our applications in general, and how exactly Argo CD and GitOps approach can improve the team velocity. After that, we will show, I will show actually small, small demo uh, on top of the Kubernetes cluster deployed in the digital ocean. So uh, containers, I hope that uh, we all know what is it, but anyway, I will, I will probably sum up. So containers, it's really a modern way to deliver our applications to between the teams, to, to some folks for testing, and even for our clients, because it allows us to create reproducible behavior with the same performance and behavior results in different environments, in different clouds, in different data centers, even on different operation systems. Uh, moreover, it lightweighted and it can start in seconds. It doesn't need any hypervisor. It doesn't need to boot up the operation system. It just works when you start it. Kubernetes, it's really something modern and today it's some kind of standard to manage containers because containers management, even in really big scaled environments and infrastructures can be really big headache for you. So Kubernetes allows you to automate the entire workflow of the containers management, like resource management, auto scaling, security, load balancing, whatever, everything which is applicable to typical system design uh, patterns, uh, Kubernetes allows you to implement it out of the box or via some external and additional services like Gregory shown during his presentation. And today, Kubernetes is something on the container orchestration tools, which are the biggest, which, is, which has the biggest community over the globe including small companies, including some particular developers and even, even enterprise companies like Microsoft, Google, etc. So uh, CICD, it's really something uh, trendy today. It stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery or continuous deployment process. It's something which defines uh, the way and process. How do we build, deliver, and maintain our application from the idea to the our client, yeah? And really continuous integration, it's mostly about build something, test something, and provide some build it and test it artifact to the next usage. And continuous delivery, it's something which stands for release, deployment, and so on and so forth. So all of that implements and covers almost entirely software development lifecycle phases, which is also demonstrated here as a line. Uh, so how do we deploy our applications? So we have some different stages, as I mentioned, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, uh, sound really similar, but they have pretty significant difference. During continuous deployment procedure, if you're trust enough, your test suite, if you're trust enough, your team member and you're 100% confident that moving in the production or staging in full automated ways, your your choice, then you can choose continuous deployment and deploy your application as soon as it, it, it will be ready for the deployment. Uh, during continuous delivery, actually, uh, this phase is just indicates that you are 
free to press some button and deploy your applications. So in the continuous delivery, you have some kind of additional level of control, but in deployment, you really improves and speeds up your, your um, enterprise. And DevOps, actually, this is something which covers the answer flow and allows to operate from the design stages until the maintained stages. And um, during really big number of years, um, most of the companies and teams um, was working and some, some of them, a lot of them still work using continuous delivery or continuous deployment and push deployment model, which means that we have some CI process like Jenkins, GitHub, GitLab, whatever, which allow us to press the button or which just um, execute some deployment procedure from the CI system to the cluster. So we actually do push the changes from some somewhere to the our end infrastructure. Something around three, five years ago, uh, we are we are hearing a lot of about GitOps and pool based model. When we agreed inside the team that let's say that Git or our software version control system is our point of truth, uh, point of truth, we one hundred percent believe and we are one hundred percent confident and absolutely. Um, find that all the changes which will be merged, let's say, in main branch will be automatically propagated to our application without any interruption, without any additional layer of um, pressing the button and so on and so forth. But pretty obvious that in that case, we need to take care about the quality of the code which goes to the main branch. I mean, code review process, I mean, really, really good testing suits, different kind of tests, and so on and so forth. And this is particularly the way how Argo CD works. So Argo CD is one of the tools which allow us to implement the pool-based deployment model to the Kubernetes clusters. Um, um, what, what, what the concepts, let's say. So it has, first of all, some UI and command line interface, which allow us to interact with Argo CD server, deploy it inside or outside of the cluster, depends on the, on the way you are going to work with it. And it has some repo server, which is responsible for synchronizing the changes between your repository and Argo CD. So if some changes appear, Depending on the configuration you did for your specific Argo CD application, Argo CD server will send appropriate commands to application controller to do some changes or just to or just it will indicate that you have some out of sync event when the desired configuration you have in the Git repository doesn't match real situation inside your cluster. So um, this is exactly what I'm going to show you today to show you how to deploy Argo CD and how does it look from the inside. So uh, first of all, um, let's let's I hope that you see correct screen. Um, um, first of all, let's uh, take a look on the repository I've prepared for this session. It contains some basic Terraform code to deploy. Uh, Kubernetes cluster, configure all the DNS records and create something else. Uh, we have some SRC folder which contains some basic application written on Python, which will print some uh, version value to the user. Uh, we have some Helm created with Helm create uh, is something which goes out of the box with some customization in the values file when I specified some specific repository to uh, uh, use the image from. I specified some pre-built secret from DigitalOcean which allows me to interact with this registry. I just configured some uh, ingress stuff in order to make it work because I have installed ingress controller inside my cluster and let's encrypt cert manager, which issues certificates for HTTPS connection to my site. 
and and that's it so nothing nothing significant it's just some basic stuff and also i have some uh, argo cd values uh, which represents the values i've prepared for argo cd deployment using help help chart command as well uh, it just contains uh, basic node selector to place argo cd components on specific node pool some additional extensions to demonstrate argo cd rollout feature and also ingress configuration so you can observe it later and now i believe we can move forward to our demo so first of all we will start uh, with argo cd deployment it will be helm upgrade install um install install argo argo cd repository uh, namespace will be argo whatever it really doesn't uh, really matter we also put create namespace flag in order to create this uh, namespace if needed so and we'll specify our predefined argo values which will be used for us for this specific argo cd installation so uh it will take a few seconds until Helm will generate all the Kubernetes manifest and we'll send it via the, to the control plane. We can switch to our namespace Argo and see that almost all ports are up and running, except two. And if we will open update a few times, we will wait. Okay. Uh, get ingress will give us uh, our our endpoint will be used during the sessions, so we can already try to pass it here. And here we go. So our Kubernetes uh, deployment already created ingress via Nginx ingress controller and issued our for us a certificate, which is valid and issued by Let's Encrypt. Now, um, could be, uh, during the deployment, we use some pre-generated admin password. It's, it's not something good to use for production, but for demo purposes, it's pretty enough. We can just copy and paste the comments suggested by Helm installation and copy the default admin password. And it will give us ability to log in inside our Argo City UI. So it just uh, basic UI which which allows us to configure a few stuff like accounts, clusters, certificates, repositories, everything which is required for us to access some pieces of our uh, infrastructure components deployed with Argo CD. So we are going to start with new application creation because we want to do some demo today. So. Um, Application name will be demo. Project default, actually, it's something which goes out of the box and the project uh, gives us ability to pre-configure some settings for some specific group of applications and use, for instance, the same credentials, the same uh, sync options, and so on and so forth. In sync policy, we will choose automatic. It means that automatically our goal will delete all resources which are not all not longer defined in Git, and it will self-heal the application if uh, some deviation of the cluster state will be detected. Also, let's click auto-create namespace in order to auto-create namespace. In the repository URL, we will just copy and paste HTTP endpoint of our repository, revision will be main, and pass will be home, which means that Argo CD will just make change directory to here and will try to install this Helm release inside. In a cluster destination, we will choose name and in cluster, because Argo CD is deployed in the same cluster we want to perform the deployment of application and namespace will be application. That's it. Now we can click create. It will initiate some process and uh, all, 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 already you see that Argo in lifetime uh, uploaded all the changes, uh, detected all the kinds. It should create like service, 
service account deployment in Grass. And right now we see that Argo City Secret is in progress of issuing. It already deployed some replica set and port, which is healthy already, and it's ready to use. We just need to wait a few seconds and Argo CD is green. So it means that starting for now, we can switch our namespace to the, I don't remember demo, it was our application, application probably. Yes. And here we can get ingress, copy URL. And if we will go here, we will see our hello message from the application release 1.0.0. So um, let's try to probably make some kind of new route. What we can do, we can go to deployment and for instance, update some version like release during the demo, just will update some version. Uh, stational changes, commit message like, um, let me just move like uh, updated release content, message content, no version, updated version. And we'll push the changes to our repository and we'll get back to the demo um, representation in Argo and we'll see uh, how Oh, it's already detected the changes. Okay, uh, you see that it detected the changes, updated version, and already deployed one more replica set here, which triggers the deployment of one more pod. And if we will get back to our control, uh, kubectl com command, we'll see that it already updated the version. If we just update this page, we will see that our message also updated. So that's wonderful. Uh, let's assume that something went wrong and we decided that this revision is broken for some reason, some customer complaint. What we can do, we have actually two options. The first option is preferable option, but it can be longer sometimes. We need to undo or revert our latest commit to the main branch or fix the issue via some pull request and merge it to main and then Argo will upgrade the version. But as far as our first priority is uptime and our clients, we would probably need to some faster, faster solution. So what we can do, we can just go to our demo application um, and here, not, not here, we need to go demo deployment. No, uh, where is it? I forgot. Uh, history will back. Okay. And here we can see what we change is updated version. And we, uh, we can um, scroll down to the previous version and click rollback, which means that we will temporarily disable auto sync uh, in order to give us some time to fix the issue, to propagate the changes to main branch. And then we will need to turn this synchronization back. And it can be automated using Argo CDC Live needed, but during presentation, it's probably something out of scope. So we see that uh, current sync status is out of sync, but our application already rolled back to the previous version. Um, yeah. so. This is actually it. So um, probably Argo CD has a lot of configuration. It has a lot of uh, different cases of usage and it's, uh, I don't know, we need one hour plus session to cover all of them. So I hope that at least I gave you really interesting information. And now I would be really happy to answer your questions. So as Gregory mentioned, if you have some questions about the demo content or you want to just get in touch with our company and me, you can write devops at navitech.io email and yeah, we'll be happy to answer all of them, all of the questions.